Consider the differential equation dy dx equals y minus x. At the point one comma negative one point five, the direction field has a slope of what value? The direction field would have a slope that's the same as the value of dy dx, or the derivative function, at this point one comma negative one point five. So at the point, let's call it one comma, for negative one point five, let's use negative three halves, dy dx, would be equal to, again, y minus x, which would be negative three halves minus one, or minus one over one. So we obtain a common denominator of two. We would have negative three halves minus two halves, or negative five halves, which we can also write as negative two point five. So at this point, the direction field would have a slope of negative five halves, or negative two point five. Next, at the point negative zero point five comma one point five, the direction field would have a slope of what value? So again, at the point, let's call it negative one half comma three halves, dy dx would be equal to, again, y minus x, or three halves minus negative one half, which becomes plus one half. So three halves plus one half would be four halves, or positive two. So at the second point, the direction field has a slope of positive two. Now we want to use the answers from part A and B to choose the correct direction field for the differential equation. For every point on our direction fields, the slope of the segments would represent the slope of the tangent lines, and therefore the value of the derivative function at that point. So looking back at part B, let's find the point negative zero point five comma one point five on all four graphs. So negative zero point five one point five would be here, 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 and here. And since the derivative function was equal to positive two at this point, we're looking for the segments that have a slope of positive two. If it's not positive two, it would not be the correct direction field. So notice how this segment here has a negative slope, therefore this could not be the correct direction field. So we can eliminate this direction field. Notice how the slope of this segment could be positive two, as well as this segment here, but our fourth direction field, this segment has a negative slope, and therefore it could not be the correct direction field. Now looking back at part A, let's locate the point one comma negative one point five on the remaining two direction fields. So one negative one point five would be here and here. The direction field has a slope of negative five halves or negative two point five at this location. And notice how both of these segments do look like they could have a slope of negative five halves or negative two point five. Which means to select the correct direction field, we'll have to find the slope or the derivative function values at additional points. Looking at these two direction fields, let's select the point one comma one. At the point one comma one, dy dx would be equal to y minus x or one minus one which equals zero. So at the point one comma one, the slope of the segment must be zero. So we're looking at the segment here and here, and notice how the slope of this segment is obviously not zero, but the slope of this segment is zero, and therefore we would eliminate this direction field, and therefore this third direction field here is the correct direction field for the given differential equation. Notice how at the point negative one comma negative one, this point here, the slope of the segment is zero, which is correct because negative one minus negative one would be negative one plus one, or zero. I hope you found this helpful.